I just really feel like the world hates me. Do you see that? What is that? That is not, that's not a hair. That's not like a fiber. What is that? That My lipsticks are not moldy. They are not hazardous. They are not contaminated. They are not unsafe for you in any way, shape or form. Okay, you guys, today we are going to be talking about what everyone else has been talking about this week, Jaclyn Hill's upcoming launch. Last week, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics posted on their Instagram this post with the caption, the future is going to be bright. This was followed up by Jaclyn Hill posting a video on her YouTube channel announcing her holiday collection. Her holiday collection, which in some videos she has called exclusive, although we're not sure if that's true or not, includes five shades of mood light luminous powder that are each $32, two highlighter palettes that cost $49 each, and one loose highlighter that costs $24 along with three brushes. Some people are excited for this launch, but most people are skeptical because of her previous launches. Basically, people are scared to buy it because they're nervous there's going to be hair or metal or who knows what in the highlighter. I hope for her that the launch goes well and nothing's wrong with her product but she's been through so many botched launches that it's starting to make me wonder exactly what's going on behind the scenes like who is behind all of this you know so let's talk about her holiday collection people are finding it a bit weird that she's selling these three brushes when she already has a whole brush set with morphe People are also finding this launch to be a bit um, close to the lipstick launch that was, we all saw how that one went. I think that before she announced her newest collection, before she, you know, even came back, she probably should have taken care of the lipstick situation. People are still saying that they're waiting to get their money back from these lipsticks which were contaminated while well, she's out there in Los Angeles living in a $10,000 per night home. Not $10,000 a month, $10,000 a night. So let's talk about her lipstick launch for a minute. One of her biggest problems with her launch, besides, you know, the hair in the metal, was that her lipsticks had the same exact batch code, which is not how batch codes work. For each shade, there should have been a different batch code, and this batch code tells you when and where the product was made, as long as like the expiration date and stuff like that. This batch code is also super important for recalls. So if something goes wrong with your product, you can narrow it down to one batch code and then recall that one batch rather than the entire line. So when something went wrong with Jacqueline's line, she would have had to recall the entire thing rather than just one or two shades. You would think that Jacqueline would have learned from this and made sure that her future makeup would be batched correctly. But pictures of her PR have come out online and you guessed it, all of the batch codes are the same exact number again. Which is leading many to believe that she's using the same exact lab from her lipsticks. And that isn't the only problem, oh no. People have also noticed that some of the highlighters say made in the USA on them. Which wouldn't be a big deal except for she said she was working with a lab and making her product in Milan. So it's looking like she meant only some of her products were made in Milan, specifically the two palettes. So as many times as Jacqueline has told us that she has switched labs, completely found a new lab in the five months, um, it looks like she hasn't. She has said on her videos that she has been producing these highlighters since before her lipsticks came out. So obviously if she's been producing them at the same time as the lipsticks, it's pretty easy to see that she is using the same contaminated lab. I think that Jacqueline has gotten herself into a bit of a mess. She started making her highlighters before her lipsticks came out, found out that her product was not being made right, and now she has all these highlighters to sell. But you also cannot blame the lab for everything. She made 20 shades of lipsticks and sold them without noticing something was wrong. She had to pay a lot of money to get these lipsticks created and then never checked on them while they were in production. All she had to do was pull one lipstick and open it and she would have saw 
that something was wrong and she needed to fix it before selling it to people. To me, this situation sounds like a bit of a cash grab. I think Jacqueline wanted high margins. She wanted to produce her product at the cheapest lab and have it comparable to and priced the same as high quality makeup, when in reality, her lipsticks weren't even comparable to dollar store lipsticks. And then to make this situation even a bit messier, Jacqueline did not include the ingredients list used to make her product in the PR kit. Obviously that's going to be a problem because people have different allergies, people don't put some things on their skin, like it should have been included, it was easy enough to just put it in there, like what is so hard about that? People are concerned though with the um, ingredients in her blurring highlighter. She uses natural mica, which is kind of controversial because the companies that are mining this ingredient use child labor. So obviously that's bad, but it gets worse because mining mica is very dangerous. The United States has set limits on how much a miner can be exposed to mica daily because it is immediately dangerous to health and life. And I'm sure that these companies using children as young as four years old to mine this mica are not worried about how much they're being exposed to, which is disgusting. There are so many alternatives to using that, like why? when you look up what you're using to create your makeup like come on now so i'm hoping for anyone who's buying this highlighter that everything is okay and you're not gonna you know scratch your face with some metal pieces but you never know with jacqueline let me know what you guys think about this in a comment below and if you guys are going to be buying it or if you're just going to be waiting for the reviews to come up on twitter that's what i'm going to be doing no way would I be putting one of her products on my face. Knowing that it's coming from the same contaminated lab that made her lipsticks. No thank you. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you.